there's a few subtle differences separating a successful product from a failure on Amazon. In today's video, I'm going to take two products from the same niche. We're gonna compare them with the reviews and the sales hidden. And I'm gonna have you guys guess which one is doing better on Amazon. We'll also go over the few key areas that you need to focus on yourself when launching a product on Amazon. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are on Amazon. I have two products here in the same niche, both very similar products. One of these products is actually one of my clients and we're gonna have my editor block out the reviews, sales, and you guys are gonna analyze these listings with me and guess which one is selling more. So the two most important aspects when it comes to selling on Amazon is your images and your title. However, these titles are both fairly similar. So the main thing we're gonna be comparing here is the images. So let's go through the one on the left. The brand is called Silk and Soft. This is their main image. That's their packaging. They have a fairly standard type of image, softer than leading traditional brands, BPA free, septic safe, just giving information about the product. Okay, third image here, just some more information about the product. Fourth image, once again, just highlighting some of the features. Fifth image, making a ploy to sustainability and the habitat of panda bears. And then the last image here with just showing the back of the packaging in a bamboo background. Looks like here they also have videos. We're not gonna watch those, but that's always a bonus if you have those on your listing. All right, now we're gonna contrast the other listing. So over here, this is their main image. This is their packaging and branding. Their second image here, once again, focusing on being environmentally friendly. They say 100% bamboo, cruelty free. That resonates with some customers. Third image here, basically describing why they have good value. 12 of their roles is 20 regular roles, they say. Uh, dye free, scent free, BPA free, lint free. Just basically discussing the features of their product. Fourth image here is just a comparison between others versus themselves. You guys can pause and read what these say if you care. And then their fifth and final image, once again, is comparing their brand to other brands. As you can see, this listing doesn't have a sixth photo or any videos. So there you guys go. These two products, those are their images. As I said, their titles are fairly basic. They just explain the product. They're honestly fairly similar. It'd be tough to differentiate or say that one of their titles is better. Maybe you have your own opinion, but I want you to take this moment now to think about the images you just saw and come up with your conclusion of which of these two products you think sells better. And so drum roll please, the product that sells significantly better, probably to no surprise to most of you, is the one on the right here, the Better Way brand. Now you might've taken a look at these two products and thought, oh, well, this one only has five images, they don't have a video, and their last two photos are repetitive. And honestly, their photos aren't a whole lot better than the ones on the left. However, for me, the main, main takeaway is just the packaging and the branding on that first image. In my opinion, this image sells the entire product. Whereas you compare that to this brand, Silk and Soft, this one is actually our client that we just taken on. So we're gonna be working on their branding and we're gonna be trying to scale them up and grow them. I think this is quite outdated and I think this product, which sells like five units a day, five to 10 units a day, versus this one selling 336 units per day, that's the only difference, you know? Same product, actually, the owner here argues that his is better quality, but just based on that main image and their branding, that's why they're selling so much. As you can see here, this product is sitting at a 4.1 out of five star where the Better Way brand is four and a half stars. They also have 6,300 reviews, whereas the Silk and Soft brand only has 1,500. So in addition to the good branding that Better Way does, these reviews are probably the number one factor as to why they're selling so much and why they're able to keep this momentum and sales going the way they have been. It's very tough to get a product like this off the ground. As soon as you get below 4.3, every PPC click is gonna be more expensive, your conversion rate is gonna drop, and you're just gonna drop down the page. It, it's pretty much inevitable if all your competitors have a high rating and you're lower than them, you're just gonna slowly fizzle out. So let's dive further into this Better Way brand and we'll discuss why they're selling more. So as you can see with this brand, they're selling at $29.99 the, as the last brand was selling at $19.99 and they're actually selling the exact same amount of toilet paper and arguably the same quality. So what is the difference in why this can charge $10 more and is actually selling way more per day? In my opinion, one of the top two huge reasons is just their branding is better. So the two things that are contributing to more sales is more reviews and better reviews, as well as just branding on it. Obviously this product looks way better. 
I know a lot of other Amazon gurus would disagree with me here, but I actually don't think that title and bullet points are that important. The title is more for keyword stuffing, and as long as it's clear what the customer is receiving, I think it's a win. This brand, it's very clear. You're getting bamboo toilet paper. You're getting three-ply. It explains the amount of rolls and sheets, and it's very clear from looking at this photo here as well. So if we scroll down, we can see they also have A-plus content. This is very important. I would actually argue that their A-plus content is better than their images. I would say even the fact that they're selling with five images is surprising to me. They should have maxed out. They should have six images. They should probably also have a product video there. Um, and so it's proof that they're not even doing everything perfectly. I think that just points to how important branding is. And theirs is just a visually more appealing product than every other one in their niche. Just quickly diving into the profitability. At a $29.99 price, they're raking in pretty good profit, $10.49 per sale. I've estimated a $5.50 unit manufacturing cost. I think that's pretty reasonable. It might even be lower than this, including shipping. And so they have a great margin. Honestly, they're making a ton of money. If they're making $10 a sale on 330 plus sales a day, that's what, three and three, $3,300 a day. That's crazy. Um, great ROI, great margin. This product is doing so well because they're able to charge a premium for good branding. Okay, so the main takeaway from that comparison is that branding and building a better product trumps everything. In 2023, you can still break into these competitive niches as long as you're focusing on building a good product and having great branding. This Better Way brand on Amazon is winning because they have good, consistent reviews. They have done all the simple basics well, like a good title, good bullet points, good A-plus content, good images, and then they've killed the branding and product side of things. Let this be my reminder to you that you can succeed on Amazon if you come up with something that people actually want to buy. I hope you guys enjoyed that comparison. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.